Hey you guys, I'm so excited. Today we are going to review the X-Tool infrared laser. Now while I was testing this laser, I found out that you can engrave on white ceramic tiles with no marking spray at all and you can get some really really crazy detailed engraving. We will do this in today's uh, video and also we'll test this laser in different materials, for example on this brass coin that I got four to use with my diode laser and I didn't know diode laser cannot engrave on brass and it didn't even put a dent, even at 100% power, my 40 watt diode laser was not marking this metal but then with this infrared, look at the strong contrasting engraving we got there, no marking spray or anything, just straight engraving with the infrared laser. I'll put link in the description below to the coins and the white tiles that I used and also to the laser if that's something you're interested in buying. Now if you don't know anything about infrared lasers, they're supposed to be really really great for engraving metal, all kinds of metals and uh, it's especially used for jewelry and then uh, also it does really really good with plastic. So in today's video we will do this engraving over here, I don't know if you can see it because of reflection, but super super good engraving, this is on stainless steel. I don't know if I, how I could make it to focus. I'll have to take a picture of it and insert it. There you go. So I'll take a picture and insert it. This is on stainless steel. Now you can engrave with stainless. Um, now you can engrave with a diode laser on stainless steel. You'll just not get this contrast, this black of an engraving. So I'll throw a picture of this on the screen. Then I also engraved on this tiny tiny pendant that has a star on one side, a heart on one side, so I put a little star on the other side. Uh, as you can see it worked really really well. Now I also have these challenge coins that I got on Amazon, I'll put links in the description below. I have them on silver and gold and I've tried to engrave this with my diode lasers, I got them for the diode laser and the diode laser would not put a mark on it, even at 40 watts at 100% power. So diode laser could not engrave this metal, whatever this is, I'll put it in the link in the description below, like I said, but the infrared laser did some really, really good engraving on this one. I also tried it on plastic, I tried it on black plastic, so right over here, a really nice engraving. And then also try it on white plastic so we can see how it works on white. And on white you get this kind of engraving, just like that, very very nice. And then I tried it on black acrylic. This is what it looks like on black acrylic, really really cool. And then also I tried it on a white tile. Now this was my biggest surprise because to my knowledge you could not uh, engrave on white tiles unless you're using a marking spray. These tiles I purchased from Amazon, I'll put the link in the description below. I don't think they're coated with anything, they're just white matte tiles. I purchased them, I was using them as props for my uh, photography and uh, they make great coasters too. They are tile and then it also has the cork back so you don't scratch your table. But uh, look how good the engraving it turned out no marking spray, just engraving straight with the infrared laser. I was so 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 impressed and uh, we'll do all these engravings um, right now so you can see the settings I use for all these materials and, um, and if you're on the lookout to buy an infrared laser, well I think the X-Tool infrared laser it's superb to doing all these jobs. Now here we are at the laser machine and the first engraving we'll do is on this brass coin I buy this guy and packages like this from Amazon, there are a whole bunch of them in the package. They come in an acrylic um, container as well, so let me show you. This is the little container that the coin sits in. So um, let's do an engraving on this coin, see what it will look like. Let me show you the laser head, what it looks like. It looks exactly like the diet lasers, excuse me if I make you dizzy, but I need to move you around here. So there you go, the laser head looks exactly just like the regular diode laser head, but it is a 2 watt and it's 1064 nanometer, this is an infrared laser. So I'm going to put my coin over there and let me go to the computer so I can focus on my coin. I'm going to put the crosshair right there on the coin. 
and I am going to quickly take focus on the middle of my coin somewhere. And there you go. Then I need to mark and make sure that I am centered into my design. So I'm going to take three focus points over here. I'm going to put the crosshairs right on this edge, one on this edge, and maybe one over here. So there you go with that. I am going to close the lid and let's bring in a design. And then I am going to, I'm not going to record my screen. I'm just going to bring you over here. Hopefully you'll be able to see my screen. So let me zoom in in here. This is our marking. This is our design in the middle of the circle. And then for my design, I am going to do power 100, speed 20. Uh, I'm going to keep it on Jarvis and lines per centimeter. I'm going to go with 300. And then I am going to go to process, start. And now we have to push the button in the front and I'm going to bring you over so you can hopefully, I don't know if you can see the coin from there, but let's see. All right, our engraving is done. Let's see what we got. It's looking beautiful. Look at that, on a gold coin. And here is the silver coin that I did earlier for testing. I'll put the link to these coins and to the description below if you're interested. So really, really cool. So it works on brass really well. It's supposed to work on all metals. We'll try other metals in a second. Next, I want to try it on this plastic case. This is a Polar Pro case that is holding my iPhone filters. So I'm just going to engrave here in the back of it. And I'm going to make the engraving a lot smaller this time, just because I don't want to have to wait for so long. It does take a while to engrave. First, we have to take focus. I will center it. And for this one, actually, I am going to change the settings. I'm going to go power 100, but for the speed, I will go to 100 because I think plastic will take a lot less power to engrave than metal. So I'm going to do that. See what we got? And here is our engraving. Very, very neat. It works really, really well on plastic, as you can see. Now that was black plastic. Let's see what happens if we engrave on white plastic. So I have this, uh, you know, adapter for my computer. So we're going to try to put something on that one. All right, let's see what we got on the white plastic. And white plastic worked really well as well. Nice, clear engraving. Now next, I want to engrave this plexiglass, just black plexiglass. I'm going to do, we'll change the image just so you don't, guys don't get bored of the same image. All right, for the settings for this one, I'll put it on engrave, power 100. I'll put speed at 100. Lines per centimeter, I'll go to 240. All right, our engraving is done on the acrylic plexiglass and it's looking amazing. Of course, look at that. It's so beautiful, so bright. Absolutely love it. All right, next we will be engraving on this white ceramic tile. I would leave those in the description below. This makes great coasters because look, it has the cork on the bottom. So it's just a white tile mat. I used to use these guys for photography props because they work really, really well because they're matte. 
So let's take focus for this one. 100 power and speed for the tiles. I'm gonna go with 10 speed. All right, let's see what we got. And there is our tiny, tiny engraving. Super, super cute, very happy with the way it turned out. Now, I hope this was helpful to you and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.